welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. Today, we, uh, we're going to be working on a LiPo battery. This is something that may actually save you guys a lot of money in the long run. Uh, and, and you need one thing in particular to, uh, to be able to actually solder uh, balance leads or main battery leads back onto your LiPo battery. Okay, so um, this battery, it's about two years old. It's been completely submerged in brackish water about a year ago. And uh, I'm starting to see the effects of the LiPo being submerged in salt water. You know, I'm starting to see it a year later, right? Uh, I've already had to re-solder balance leads back on. And today I was running the twin Ariane. And it looks like we melted the stock solder here. You see this right here? You see this little bead of solder? that melted okay so we need to cut that off because it looks like it's about to hit the another tab on a battery pack good thing they put that foam in there right we got some foam we're gonna need to pack it back full uh, before we take it back tape it back up but uh yeah this is the one thing that you need to fix battery leads balance leads on these aluminum tabs on your lipos okay this is the one thing you need mainly any solder will work but this is what you need to solder on that aluminum it's pure aluminum flux okay pure aluminum flux right so that's the main thing you need and a hot soldering iron so this is a hundred watt weller okay you need a hot soldering iron with a, a hot tip right so we're going to be using a uh, silver solder to do the repair. We need to clean this up. I need to cut that little bead of solder off with some dikes. Let's go. Let's cut this bead of solder off. That could ground out. Looks like it's like stuck on some hot glue that they had in here. Looks like they hot glued some of that foam in here. It's a good thing they had this little piece of foam in between the the tabs because that could have that could have been bad right there you know it really could have been you don't want to leave the, the iron on these things for very long lipo batteries you get you need to get in get in and get out right so we need, I'm gonna clean this up let me get a wire brush real quick Okay, so you, you want to consolidate your wire onto that one tab because if it hits this tab and this tab, then it's going to ground out. So, you re real, real particular where you hit your hit, hit, hit it with a hit the wire with a wire brush. Very particular. Be careful. Just getting down to some good metal here. Give it something to solder to. Now, I could probably, you could probably carefully hit hit this right now with with some regular flux on there it tend this real good you might be able to get it to stick possibly if you have solder here but if you're if you're going to be working on a like if we were working on this like a like a, a bare tab right it don't have any solder on it you're not going to get it to stick okay you just not right you just not so Let's clean up this wire right here. Sorry, I got you guys zoomed in. Probably need to cut this wire, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to cut it because it'll throw everything off. It actually looks good. It's not like it's not corroded or anything. This right here definitely looks dirty, right? So I'm actually going to hit it. I'm going to hit it with this real quick. This Dremel. You can clean it up however the heck you want to. This isn't a tutorial. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. Just getting down to some good good metal, right? And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this flux on here. Let it start working. Working its magic. Okay, not much. Just a little drop or two. It don't take a lot. Um, let's go ahead and get some... 
I'm gonna go ahead and put some regular. Well, let's use this flux on here. Let's see what that does. Let's just see what that does. Okay. So I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna tin this wire again because I just ground off a lot of the solder. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Retend it. I wish I had somebody to make a video for me about six years ago, right? Showing what kind of stuff to use for lipos because I, I've thrown away, I, over the past six years, seven years, I've probably thrown away, uh, uh, a dozen batteries because uh, like I, I would pull pull the batteries out by the leads or like in my bashers the battery would fly out the car and the the lead would, would would pull out or the balance leads would pull off right that was the most common thing the balance leads pulling off or in a boat you know the batteries get shuffled around and 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 the balance lead catch on something and it just pulls out or the main lead i wish i'd have known about this seven seven eight year ago right saved me a couple hundred bucks a few hundred dollars you know so i got my iron uh it's hot it's hot let's put a little bit more of this on there probably don't need it but uh go, do, do it anyway we got our uh I lead 10 back up so I'm gonna we're gonna work kind of fast here okay uh, we want to we want to keep this on the battery is is, is is little amount of time as possible make sure your irons hot you can see what I just did put some of the silver solder on there okay boom 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 now let's get our wire hot because the tabs already hot This fan right here comes in handy for soldering, right? Done. I'm just cooling down this tab real quick because I left it on there a little longer than I wanted to. That's great. Looks good. Alright. Yeah, I've been using this little fan right here to like when I'm soldering QS8s or something. I'll uh I'll use that to cool down my connector so it don't melt that that inner inner you know around the bullet whatnot. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is actually cut some more foam here. This is just like a, uh, I think it come out of a brushed motor or an ESC package, you know. So we're going to cut some more. Good thing that foam right here was there. Or it, it, that solder could have ground it out, you know. So. I'm going to put another one right here. I'll put one in between there. On the ground tab. Okay. Let's put one right here. Let's put one between this one. Okay. I have some, uh, I'm not exactly sure what this tape's for, but uh, it, it's real sticky. 
and it's got some like integrity like you can't rip it you know so I figured this may be the best tape for the job well for what I have anyway what I have here at the house without having to go order special stuff you know oh I guess some hockey tape could work right because we are boaters yeah this stuff right here is pretty strong Yeah, you just want to keep all the uh, all the tabs like away from each other. That's important, right? That's very important. I know it could be done better, but uh, it's just a half. You know, well, it's not really half fast because I'm taking my time and trying to do it right, so it's not half fast. You know, I could have just. I could have just rolled this over and been done with it, right? Put this super glue tape from T-Rex on this on this protective tab because I had to like had to like carefully peel it off earlier. So we're gonna we're gonna use this to uh, hold down this protective cover here. Boom, boom, boom! I'm not gonna forget. Well, let's actually put one more, let's put one more strip. Not much I can tell you about this tape. <laughs> Made in the USA, come on. Alright, so I put that protective foam in between each tab. And then I put a piece of protective foam, the stock piece of protective foam over it. To, to protect it from any, like, impacts, right? So we got that super glue tape on here. That should that should do the trick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, that works out pretty good. Yeah. So we got the protective foam in there. Uh, getting this getting getting this broke loose in the battery. Actually, this is the second third time I've had to do it on this particular battery. Uh, this go around, I actually tore it. But uh, if you if you put you a, carefully put you a screwdriver in there, don't pry down like this pry like try to push it out you know don't don't like pry on the battery right just force the outside edges out right and that should allow you to pull this heat shrink back just be careful because if you puncture this you're going to have a bad day you know you're going to have a bad freaking day so be careful get your pair of pliers and try to pull it pull it on Gotta be careful working with these lipos. You need to you need to uh, be prepared for worst case scenario, right? Have your exit plan because these things spark off. Uh, just do it at your own risk, you know. Uh, and if you do do it and something happens, I'm not reliable, you know. I'm just showing you guys what I do. It's not a tutorial. I'm just showing you guys how I fix my freaking battery. That just saved me about 120 bucks. This thing right here can't get this battery no more. And it's, it's been a beast, man. It's been an absolute beast of a battery. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.